Alright guys, welcome to another local band smokeout, except this time we're doing an LBS Munchies episode. What is that? Well, LBS Munchies is basically like a subsidiary of the normal show, except we're just going to check out some crazy food items because I constantly get the munchies when I smoke and hopefully you guys do too. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to check out some of the weirdest shit that McDonald's has ever put out and we're going to decide if we want it. We want to eat it or we wouldn't eat it. So that's what LBS Munchies is. Uh, please consider clicking the subscribe button to this channel so you never miss any of these Munchie episodes or any of the reactions we upload every single day, of which we've got about 5,000 of them. And uh, yeah, spark it up if you got it. These are weird items that have disappeared from McDonald's menu. And this is LBS Munchies episode two. Here we go. For a limited time, the McLobster sandwich is ashore at McDonald's, filled with the nice McLobster and crispy lettuce on a fresh bun. It's bound to make a splash with everyone. All right, first of all, are you going to McDonald's? Yeah. Are you going to McDonald's and are you ordering a lobster hot dog? Hell no. That can't be good. That was on the McDonald's. That can't be good. What's the second one? Fast food chain started selling salads. The salad and shakers. Oh man, the McDonald's salad shakers were good. The trend. In 2000, it introduced McSalad shakers. I remember those. Do you remember those? Those things were actually not that bad where you put the dressing in and you shake it all up. I, they should bring a that salad back. Salad in a cup. McSalad shakers were taken off the menu in 2003 and replaced with the premium salads we have today. Nah, bring back the shaker. Next one. It's McDonald's tried another tactic to appeal to customers who wanted a healthier option. Low-fat diets were popular during the 1980s. The and McLean 90s, Deluxe, that's what it said? industry to create low -fats. Introducing McLean Deluxe, made with a 91% fat-free beef patty. 91% fat-free. McDonald's did this by replacing the burger's fat content. I mean, I would water try it. And using a seaweed extract called carrageenan to bind the water to the beef. 90%. Oh, that sounds weird. I don't know. I, maybe I wouldn't order that one. I would try it. I suppose I would try it. I'd try just about anything food wise. All right, what's the next one? Oh, McDonald's had a pizza. A at pizza. They had a pizza? What? And surprisingly, it wasn't called the McPizza. The McDonald's family size pepperoni pizza, smothered in cheese and pepperoni. Five nine nine. That's a bargain. Nine or two for ten dollars. McDonald's simply called it McDonald's Pizza, but customers dubbed it McPizza. The fast food chain wanted to see if they could dominate the pizza industry, but with competitors like Domino's and Pizza Hut, it was hard to accomplish that goal. The McPizza was discontinued from all the McDonald's restaurants because of its long prep time. Most McDonald's restaurants stopped serving pizza in 2000, but Now, I have actually been to the world's biggest McDonald's in Orlando, and they had the McPizza, and I can't remember if I ordered it or not. This was at least... I was probably a kid. So it's like over 25, 20, 26, 27 years ago. I don't remember if I ordered it. I remember having a taco though. It wasn't until September 2017 that McDonald's corporate office decided to permanently take pizza off the menu. Pizza and salad aren't the only burger alternatives McDonald's has tried. It briefly sold Tex-Mex food with its version of chicken fajitas made with chicken, cheese, green pepper. So the, the Mc... The McDonald's chicken fajita. Yeah, I'll try it. Because they couldn't compete with fish sandwich. Give me back that fish. Give oh, wait, we missed one. In the 60s, McDonald's introduced the Hula Burger. The burger had a slice of grilled pineapple and cheese on it. But it had a competitor, the filet fish sandwich. Give me back that filet fish Give me that fish. These two were introduced in the early 1960s. Yo, this actually does not look that bad. So, wait, is it just a piece of pineapple with cheese and buns? Like, there's no protein? Like, I thought that was fish. The filet of fish was created by a man named Lou Grone, who opened the first McDonald's in the Cincinnati area in 1959. At the time, most of the population in Cincinnati was Catholic and didn't eat meat on Fridays with the exception of fish. Ah, oh, so that's why the, the fish fillet is a special on Fridays. The Hula Burger. 
Croc decided to add both the hula burger and the filet of fish to menus at select locations on one Friday in 1962. And whichever sandwich sold the most would win. The final score, the filet of fish won by a landslide with 350 sales, while the hula burger only had about six. The hula burger- Because there's no protein on it, that's stupid. McStuffins. Pocket spinoff. McStuffins. McStuffins? In 1993, McDonald's created McStuffins, which had various fillings, including pepperoni pizza and chicken teriyaki stuffed in French bread. So it's like it a hot pocket. It tasty, but it wasn't very popular. McStuffins were officially removed from- Okay. I mean, I would try that too. I'm not a huge fan of hot pockets in general, but I would try it. The McDLT was this. McDonald's lettuce and tomato. Unlike a traditional BLT, the McDLT had more than just meat, lettuce, and tomato. It was served on a two-sided styrofoam container with the meat on the bottom. I remember this. So this is when the, the hot stuff is on one side and then the cold stuff was on the other side. And there was even like a commercial from uh, George Costanza, if I remember. Bun served on one side, while the other side held the top half of the bun with lettuce, tomato, cheese, pickles, and sauces. This kept the hot and the cold parts of the sandwich separate until it was time to eat. Nobody McDonald's cares about that. McDonald's took the McDLT off the menu in 1991 after the company received backlash from environmental activists for using styrofoam containers. Before the chicken McNuggets that we know and love today. So just because the container was weird, nuggets. that's why they stopped These it. Deep fried onion bits appear. Yo, those, that's a munchie. I would definitely eat onion nuggets. Appeared on McDonald's menus. They're like onion rings, but not in a ring. Or McNuggets, which may explain the very close resemblance. But onion nuggets are shrouded in mystery. Like many other limited time offerings, no one really knows when or why McDonald's discontinued them. So one of the biggest flops that could be brought back. was the Arch Deluxe Burger, introduced in 1996. The New York Times reported that McDonald's spent an estimated $150 million to $200 million in marketing for the Arch what? Deluxe. Making 200 it million. the largest ever fast food marketing budget at the time. McDonald's marketed the burger specifically to adults, promoting it as a gourmet burger with a secret arch sauce. Hmm. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like a quarter pounder with an extra sauce on it. promotion, McDonald's thought the Arch Deluxe, which cost between $209 and $249, would hit at least $1 billion in sales. But the burger lasted about a year before it was taken off the menu. In January 2018, McDonald's started to test a new version of the Arch Deluxe called I would order that. Arch Burger. McDonald's confirmed that the new Arch Burgers were made with fresh beef and that the signature Arch sauce also made a comeback. But McDonald's hasn't given any more updates on the Arch Burgers comeback. Dang, it's been four now, years. We can always count on McDonald's to surprise us with new. <clears throat> all right, interesting. Out of all those things, I think the onion nuggets sound okay. The Arch Deluxe doesn't sound too bad. And <clears throat> if McDonald's brought back the pizza, I'm sure it'd be terrible. But uh, I would try that one as well. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of LBS Munchies. Let me know which which food item in this uh, in this video you would try, if any of them. Which one looks the best? Which one looked the worst? Please let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, this video. Please consider clicking the subscribe button. Do you want me to do more LBS Munchie uh, episodes? Because I have fun doing them. There's a ton of food items out there in the world that I'd love to try. And I'm a guy that loves to eat, especially after a little smoky smoke. Smoke weed every day. So, uh, yeah. Overall, those were my favorites. And uh, some of them, some of them I can see clearly why they failed. But, uh. You know, you got to try. You got to experiment a little bit. And McDonald's is, is really good at uh, just trying different things, I guess you'd say. Uh, hopefully, we catch you guys on the Twitch show, which we do five times a week, three hours a day, three plus hours a day, 3.50 to 7.20 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday, uh, where I constantly eat weird food items on the show while checking out all kinds of music from around the world of any genre. If you have a weird food item that you'd like me to try... Uh, mention it in the comments or stop by the Twitch show and suggest it and I'll I'll try it. Why not? You know what? You know what? Other than that, I am your host, Desire the Most BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace. I'll catch you next time.